What's up everybody? Welcome to the very first video on the Plank and Wheels channel. Today we are checking out Encore Unmastered, the primitive video that came out a little bit ago. Uh, my name's Steven and a little bit about myself. I'm 21 years old, born and raised in Kansas City, home of Escape the Skateboarding and Sean Malto, 2011 SLS World Champion. Uh, I've been skateboarding for about four years and the last trick I learned was a front side nose grind. Still working on it, don't have it consistent, but we're getting there one step at a time. So, if you have never heard of Primitive before, I got you. And if you don't know what Encore is, I got you. I do the research, so you don't have to. This is what you need to know before getting into the video. Today, we're looking at Primitive Skateboarding. Just said it. Founded in 2008 by Paul Rodriguez and Heath Moe and a few other dudes. So 2008, been around for a while. It's about 12 years from now. I'm good at math, math boy. Uh, and it's their second full length video part. So if they've been around for 12 years and they only have two video parts, that means they take things really seriously. They take things step at a time. They haven't pushed anything, they haven't rushed anything. A lot of their skaters have been doing video parts for other companies, but this is their second full length as far as I know. The first full length video was called, it's a great question. Starts with an E. Encore and never, it doesn't start with an N. Oh my gosh. I feel like never was a little bit shorter than Encore, but it's okay. I still want to count that as a full length because it had almost all their team writers, home and international, and they were getting work done. So, uh, some more stuff on Primitive. This video was released in t November of 2019, and in this time of protests and the coronavirus that the protesters seem to have forgotten about they have blessed us with this video again and it's been a few months and we've i don't want to say we've forgotten about it but we've watched a whole lot of skate footage between november 2019 and now so i'm very happy to see this again because i've probably forgotten about a lot of tricks in here and i know you guys have too and last thing primitive skateboarding has their instagram is at primitive skate and without further ado let's get into the video Okay, starting off heavy, Thiago Lemos. He was not the first person in the never part. First person was Frankie Villani. He kicked it off for us. Ow! Ah! Oh, okay. All right, look at that. Okay, let's remember, Thiago is goofy. So he just did two, he did a front 50 and he did a backside 50-50. Ugh. I am horrible at backside. I don't know why people do it. Switch from 5-0. Okay, we just talked about how Tiago was goofy. Uh, he is a fantastic regular or switch skater, so we have to keep that in mind. Because if you don't keep that in mind, every, you're going to miss a whole bunch of tricks. You're not going to be able to appreciate them because switch is way more difficult than regular. There is again. He wanted a little bit cleaner. Ooh. Cameraman didn't get the wipeout, but glad it's okay. Glad he's okay. I can't see who he got in the background over here. Who was over there? This Gianni Viana. I think that's his name. Gianni Viana. He was also in the primitive part. I guess they're warming up stacking clips here. Okay, so what we're looking at right now, they're just warming up, I'm assuming. Uh, this is just them having fun which makes for the best video parts, but I'm not seeing a whole lot of, uh, I'm not recognizing tricks yet that were like video part heavy. That's nasty. I feel like they would also do that for Instagram clip though, because these people are so good. That's ridiculous. Okay, fakie over crook to half cap heel on. Back to Tiago. All right, there, there he is, pulling up regular. Switch feeble. Yep, switch front side feeble. He's gonna switch heel out. Oh. 
That's still a nice pop. Y'all hear him mad about that? I mean, I know he was going for the switch heal, but you don't just switch feeble, roll away like that, and be mad. Like, I couldn't do that if my life depended on it. Mmm, there it is. Put it down. Probably different angle. Yup. He should definitely be happy with that. We got Gianni Viana over here. That was Trent McClung. That is Wade DeSarmo, I want to say. I don't know who this dude is in the hat because he's not facing me. Don't remember his name. Back to Tiago again. Okay, regular front board. Okay, he fell. He's hurt a little bit. That's okay. We get back up. He didn't scream or anything, which means we're good. So, people say Tiago has some of the highest pop in the game. Like, I know we've seen Robert Neal nolly over trash cans, which is ridiculous. And we've seen Nick Tucker fakie flip a bench. I think that's what it was. Fakie or nolly flip. Pretty sure it was a fakie flip. But I don't know how tall he is. If Tiago is any shorter than 5'11", 5'10", then that's even more impressive. Because, you know, smaller people are closer to the ground, harder to jump up there. But if he's like low key, six foot, he, the camera the camera changes things, so I have no idea. This is Frankie Bellani, he kicked off the encore video. Know this for sure. Nice little wall ride. Fakie pop oh. shove it front Smith. That's nice. That's nice. I thought for sure Gianni was about to go in there and do the same trick. I'm glad they didn't do that. But when you're looking back at Frankie's just a second ago, did you see how his feet definitely weren't in the right position? But for a split second, you believed in him. Like, his feet weren't in the correct position, but he's got this. We, we all thought he had that. Yeah, no matter what position his feet are in, I'm like, yeah, he can definitely get out of that, right? Totally. Looked like he rolled his ankle under himself. I don't know if you guys saw that. Rewind that back. Okay. No, he didn't roll his ankle. Just skinned his knee. We're good. No real injury. He can bounce back. Solid. Solid. I can't do that. Look how rough that ground is. I don't know what cities they went to. Uh, I forgot. I was more paying attention to the skating in the last five episodes rather than the spots they were going to. But either this, th there's no way this is made this way because you see on this right side, it's brick and on this left side, it's brick. So has this ledge just been skated so much that they sanded this away or like did someone come and purposely get, get make this smooth? Because they shouldn't be able to just do that. You have one option for roll up. If you don't stay inside this lane, you're dead. Dead. I don't know the filmer. Don't recognize anyone in the shot. Back to Gianni. Ooh. That's not just a half cap heel. I feel like that's... Okay, it might just be a half cap heel. I wanted to say he went a little further than a 180. He might have gone 270. It would be 270 if he wasn't coming up at 40 degrees. Yeah. Okay, it's just a half cap. He didn't over. That's nasty. Yeah, smile. You better be proud of that. Who got here? Okay, Johnny. 
Have cap, Smith. Wow, these are warm-up tricks? I put these in my video part. Switch back 50. Switch back 5 0. Switch front side nose grind, or crook grind. I think that was regular. He did a regular nose grind. Regular overcrook. Okay. But you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know unless you're really paying attention. Switch back tail down a handrail. Switch heel. Actually, I think he might be regular. Either way. Even if that's not switch, you don't see very many people heel flip anything into anything except like a back lip or a front board or something like that. So it's nice to see what I believe to be a more technical trick being heel flipped into. I You rarely see that. You just see a heel flip over a gab or into a, a board slide of some sort. Not, not so much a rail or a grind. I don't recognize the squad. No idea who these dudes are. That's Thiago, obviously. Is that P-Rod? No, nope, not P-Rod. Sorry, P-Rod. Back to Frankie. Nice pop shove it. I forget what happens here. Is he trying to back 5-0 that? Back 50? Okay. Listen to that crunch, though. If, 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 when he gets back down there, listen to the crunch. Because it doesn't sound like it wants to be skated. I think he missed it. Yeah, no crunch there. Yeah, that was crunchy. I don't know you see the wall. Saw the way his body wobbled. He didn't want to be skated. He's got it, though. It obviously comes out of the park. We just got away from the land. No mystery here. There we go. There we go. Yes! My G! Work out! Frankie and Gianni. Fuck. Yes, dude! Fuck! I, I yeah. seriously had a weep. Nolly. Okay, my boy likes heel flips. I haven't watched very many Diana Viani cards, but I, I like that he heel flips. He doesn't kick flip into everything. We just saw what I talked about, what I normally see, a heel flip back lip on a ledge, no less. Shove out. Can't forget the shove out. Nasty. I like that. I like that. Okay, now he's gonna get it back. Can we talk about how many people are here? So, apparently, overseas in like Asia and China, a lot of people like to stand by and watch because they don't see very many skateboarders, or if they do, they're not on this high of a level. But like, that has to mess with your nerves. Like you're already traveling in a different country to land a trick. And if you don't land the trick, then you kind of wasted the company's money and stuff like that. So like, but with all these people watching you, Tiago was also in the street league, so he might be used to people watching him. But that wouldn't be healthy for my nerves. Like brand new spot, no roll away. Well, a decent amount of roll away. He just gotta be so confident in himself. I think that's an ollie back kill for him. Oh, they went back to the spot. He didn't get it earlier. Or he just wanted it at night. Night shot. I think that's... He nollie from 180? He's goofy. So he nollie from 180 in that. Not a heal. I think that's here in the U.S. I'm not gonna lie. I think that's in New York. Nice. Nice. Ah. 
There it is again, different angle. That didn't sound right. You heard him. I don't know if you heard him on the first one. I think he set both trucks down, like not at the same time. It was like, ding, ding. But dang. Is that a front big hill? Oh, he's doing something else now. It's fine. Half -half 50 50. Those are scary. Can anybody tell me about what it's like to skate one of these next to like a wall? Cause this one isn't as bad as others. Cause sometimes the handrail will be connected to the wall and skateboarding is already mind blowing in and of itself, but I have no idea how they're skating this. Like, I feel like you need all your range of motion in your arms to accomplish something. But the fact that they can just get into that with almost no space at all blows my mind. I think that was Nolly Frank Smith. Yeah, flip back 50, regular. Wow, it's almost like Tiago, Viani, and Frankie are the only ones on this trip. He's trying to... Okay. The board is not flowing with him, so it's kind of hell. They're hard to tell what's going on. I think he's trying to nolly pop over into something. So first of all, this isn't normal. For those of you that might be new to skateboarding, this isn't normal. Going over the rail, let alone nolly. So he has to pop the board way before he's supposed to, to get that nose up. And then whatever he's about to go into, it doesn't matter because of the way he got into it. It just might be a 50-50, but that's crazy. Yeah, Nolly over 50-50. Stupid. He's so good. Talk about the mindset. Okay, somebody else. This is... I don't want to say Miles Silvis. I don't want to do him wrong. Is it Miles Silvis? I think it's Miles Silvis. It's definitely Miles Silvis. Okay. Had to make sure. Couldn't disrespect him like that. Fakey flip. Okay. If you guys ever have a hard time telling if someone's fakey or or not fakey, if they're regular or goofy, just take a look at their shoulders. Because usually when people are skating in their natural stance, their shoulders will be open towards whatever trick they're going towards. But you can see his hip is closer to this rail on this side than it is to this one on this side. So his, his stance is closed, I, I would say. So this is definitely a switch heel for him. He's a regular regular skater. Like even if I knew nothing about him, which I really don't, you could tell just by that. Fakey flip on lock, apparently. It's fine. That one floated. He wasn't there forever, but it floated just a little bit. Yeah, sometimes you do be get tired. When you're trying tricks, make sure you get water. People want to just try, try, try stuff and hope that it works out. Or they're like, they're feeling, they're feeling it for the last nine tries. Take a break. Your mind will reset, and then when you come back to that trick, it'll be easier than you thought. So, like, not like a whole day, you ain't gonna come back tomorrow, but take like 10, 15 minutes, and then you'll be good. Mm. 
a floater. Is this a line? Is he supposed to keep going? Switch. Pop shove it. Alright guys. I didn't want to show too much of the video. Otherwise, I'd be sitting here for a whole hour and a half. So, if you guys like seeing content like this, if you guys want to come back for more, I need you guys to like, I need you guys to share, I need you to comment, I need you to subscribe. I can count, I promise. Don't worry, we can do this. And I am going to watch the rest of this just without you guys. If you guys want me to watch anything else, talk about it, review it, break it down, let me know. If not, I'll see you guys in the next one. Link will be in the description below. Thanks. Bye.